Good Sunday morning, folks, and thanks for joining us on Inside the Valley. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Starting off this morning, we are talking to the folks from the Mercedes Chamber of Commerce. We are talking about the Texas Street Festival. Definitely a long-awaited kind of event every year. It's always yes. so fun and fantastic. Brings everyone out from all over the valley. We are joined here with Fred Gonzalez. Now you Thank are you. the Chamber Board President. And we are joined with Armando Garcia. Now you are the Chamber Board Vice President. Right. Thank yes. you both so much for coming Thank in. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. So we were just chatting right now about last year's event. Obviously, it was amazing and it went off great. Tell us a little bit about if people unfortunately missed out last year, yes. what they missed out on. Well, they're in for a good uh, evening this, this go around. It's our 10th annual, so it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So we packed in both stages and they will all go all starting at 3 o'clock all the way through midnight. Wow. So there's something for everyone as far as music is concerned. The uh, carnival rides are back again and those are free for the kids okay. too as well. And then we also have the NWA wrestling coming back. So that's from oh, 8 to wow. like 1030 at <laughs> night. So that's always a fun event. Mm -hmm. Plus the train for the kids to ride around the entire venue and mom and dad can ride on the train as well too. So plenty, plenty of, of things to do. Antique car show for everyone to enjoy as well. So a lot of the food vendors, anything that you can think of, like from the street tacos mm -hmm. to onion blossoms, we've got them and then some. So, wow, yeah. sounds so good. I mean, obviously there's so many things, attractions that you want to go out and see, but yes. the food obviously is one of those big so kind good. of. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about entertainment. Now, I know that's always exciting. People love going out to see some of their performers out there. So the stages are full. I'm going to turn that over to Mondo. Okay. He's, he's in charge <laughs> of the music. Yeah. Well, we do, like, like Fred mentioned a little while ago, we do have two stages. Okay. We have our community stage, mm -hmm. which uh, has a variety of uh, lineup. We do have some cheer groups from La Feria ISD, uh, our very own Mercedes. We do have some from San Benito ISD. We do have... Uh, Grupo Clave, we do have the Adels, uh, okay. oldies rock and roll band. Awesome. We do have Pacific Notion mm -hmm. uh, from Mercedes, uh, Mind Over Matter, South of Sarita, and those are just a few of the bands that are going to be performing on our community stage. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we do have our main stage, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which will, we will be kicking off at uh, about 2.40 okay. on our main stage. We do have the Santa Maria ISD Conjunto program kicking mm -hmm. off. Wow. Then we do have our Mercedes High School Mariachi. Mm -hmm. We do have Chris Marshall. Okay. Uh, Geneva, the Hometown Boys. Okay, yeah. Tito Olivares. Wow. Grammy Award winning Elida Reina Yavante. Mm -hmm. And then we do have Grammy Award winning Solido. Wow. So it's plenty of music uh, of all genres for, for everybody to come out and enjoy. Yeah, and it's the 10th annual, it's huge. Now I know we talked about that last year a little bit about how this year was gonna be kind of this big kind of moment to kind of, you know, really celebrate the 10th annual. Yes, so yes. kind of what are you guys doing a little bit differently or to kind of make it that special? So definitely the wrestling is back just to add mm -hmm. some, a lot of the excitement in there too. There's a lot of extras that are coming in for the kids as well to enjoy. Uh, once again, the uh, thanks to the folks over at Air Server Mercedes mm -hmm. and they're sponsoring the kids zone. So all, ri all carnival rides are free once awesome. again for them. Um, a lot of other attractions coming in as well as some of the mascots from throughout the Rio Grande Valley coming in for the photo ops with the kids, mm -hmm. spending some time with them extra face paintings and just a lot of extra little things going on for them as well and then for mom and dad then we packed in both stages with yeah. not just one not two not three headliners but four headliners yeah. that just close off the evening and so huge. a lot of t-shirts a lot of giveaways there's a lot of freebies going out throughout the entire day too just to uh, toot our horn and say it's our 10th annual. Yeah, so, of course. Now yeah. this is one day, is that correct? Just a one day show. Just a one day, one show. Day, show. A one day wow. show. It's from Business 83 all the way to 5th Street. Mm -hmm. We shut down the streets. Um, you can enjoy your adult beverages through the entire <laughs> event and everything and have a good time. So, and uh, I think Mondo's going to talk about also uh, reserve seating or VIP oh, seating awesome. and packages okay. coming up too yeah. for, the, for the event. So being that this is our 10th annual mm -hmm. event, we decided to go ahead and do a little something different. The community, some of our uh, people that have been there with us in the past have asked us, why don't we all have reserve seating? Right. Mm -hmm. So being that this is our 10th annual, we decided to do that as a little uh, something special. So we do have some uh, reserve tables available for anybody that's looking to sponsor a table. Uh, the table seats uh, 20, 10 people, 10 and it's uh, $200 for the table. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also purchase individual seats as well. Awesome. 
Well, that's perfect. And that gets you right up front, literally right by where the music is going on. And then afterwards, you can just join us and walk into the back to meet and greet everyone else as well, too. Oh, so, that's amazing. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. It makes everything a little more easier, especially, mm -hmm. you know, you're paying a little bit more for convenience right. instead of kind mm -hmm. of yeah. getting mashed in the back. And mm -hmm. how exciting. It mm -hmm. definitely sounds like you guys are going very big for this 10th annual celebration, yes. which is awesome. Yes. And so when is it for folks that are already thinking, you know, you've said all the right things and they <laughs> want to put it on their calendars? Saturday, September 1st. Okay. Uh, the doors actually open up at noon. Perfect. Everything kicks off officially at 3 o'clock, mm -hmm. but everyone is set and ready to go first thing in the morning. And um, like I said, plenty to do. There's mm -hmm. park benches to sit along the way, especially if they're all day. We'll have the mistress throughout the day because I'm sure it's supposed to be nice, sunny, and hot. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, and like I said, plenty of food. And you two, the event too, are food trucks this year too. So Ooh. we've got a couple of food trucks coming up with different types of varieties of food coming in as well from oh. throughout the valley. So those yeah. are always great. And we definitely have a good variety here in yes. the valley. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, Walk in, now, this is a free event. It says mm -hmm. right there, I was just going to touch on that. So it's a free event, so you do not even have to pay for entrance into it. No parking wow. fee, no entrance, no nothing. So mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. So all you're really paying for is kind of your food and your beverages, right? Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then kids can ride for free. Can ride wow, for free. how do you guys manage to do all of this? Thank you to our sponsors. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you to the City of Mercedes, uh -huh. our Economic Development Corporation of Mercedes, the Rio Grande Valley Livestock mm -hmm. Show, and to all of our sponsors that help them. Um, like I said, Earth Serve that make sure that the the uh, carnival rides are free for the kids, and to all of our wow. sponsors, thank you. And that's how we actually are able to keep this a free event. Mm -hmm. A little over 10 years ago, when our city came to us and asked, you know, we need a signature event, but it's mm -hmm. got to be free. So right. um, we did it a year one, and 10 years later, it's still and free. It's still going. It's still free. Yeah. That's amazing. And you and like we mentioned, it brings people from all over the from valley. From all over. Wow. Yes, we. Uh, get a lot of the feedback for during uh, social media and then after the events too. Folks that come in from uh, as far away as Houston, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio to come visit family, you know, through the Labor mm -hmm. Day weekend and uh, they make a Mercedes or stop for, we for the Labor Day weekend too. We also do have uh, people coming in from Monterrey, wow. uh, from, the, from that area as well, yeah. that have reached out to us through social media yeah. for wow. the so. event. That's amazing. So if people are watching right now and say they want to maybe be a vendor at that, can they give you a call at the chamber? Sure. You can call uh, the Chamber of Commerce, 565-2221. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask to speak with Donna and she'll get you set up and going. Great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both so much for coming in the, today. It's going to be you. an amazing event yeah. this year. Definitely sounds exciting. I mean, you guys really jam-packed it with some awesome things and it's going to be great. Thank you. Thank, thank you for so having much. us. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, well, when we come back, we are talking to the folks from the Cameron County Children's Advocacy Center, Maggie and Monica's house. We'll be right back.